Okay, so we have this question here. It says, three years ago, Albert was one-fourth the age of Bertil. Today, Bertil is 24 years older than Albert. How old are Albert and Bertil? Uh, so the first thing I want to do anytime I have a question like this, I'm not really sure you know, what the answer is or how to go about it. Let's just label our unknowns with variables. So in this question, I will let A equal Albert's current age. So Albert's age now. And B will equal Bertil's age now. The first thing, we've just labeled our variables. Now I'm going to use these variables and this sentence to create the same situation just using math language. We're now going to use equations instead of normal English words and sentences. We'll translate these into math language. <clears throat> so it says, three years ago, Albert was one-fourth the age of Bertil. So what that means is I have to take Albert's age but it says three years ago. So if I want to know Albert's age three years ago, this is my first equation. Albert's age three years ago, we take his age now and subtract three. So three years ago, Albert was one fourth the age of Bertil. So Albert's age three years ago was one fourth, whatever Bertil's age was three years ago, because it was all three years ago. Take away three, take away three. These are their ages three years ago. And we know that his age was one fourth of Bertil's age. So Bertil's age divided by four should give me Albert's age. And we have this minus three to show it was three years ago. Uh, the second equation we're given is that today Bertil is 24 years older than Albert. So Bertil, whatever Bertil's age is, he is 24 years older than Albert. So Bertil is Albert's age plus 24. Uh, and then we're asked how old are Albert and Bertil. So I've got my two equations here. And now the way this is set up, I'm told B is equal to this. So I know we've kind of talked about this before, but if I told you, you know, oh, uh, B, B is 10. If I told you Bertil's age now is 10, you could replace this B with 10. If I told you Bertil is 100, we would say, okay, well, Bertil is 100. We replace Bertil's age with 100. Now I'm saying Bertil is A plus 24. So in this equation, anywhere I see a B, I can replace it with A plus 24. So in equation one, we now have, and actually move this down because of that fun light. Equation one now becomes Albert's age minus three is equal to Bertil's age minus 3, but Bertil is just Albert's age plus 24. So Bertil, that B, so we have B minus 3 divided by 4. I'm now going to replace this B with the fact that Bertil is 24 years older than Albert. So now this equation becomes A minus 3 equals A plus 24 minus 3 and all of that is divided by 4. So this is an equation that we can solve. It's a bit tough to solve, but since this equation only has a's in it, I can actually solve and figure out what a is. So to start solving this, let's first, we can actually do some stuff over here, a plus 24 minus 3. So over here we have a minus 3 equals, to get rid, there's an invisible 1 in front of these brackets. So when I distribute that invisible 1, I have a plus 24 minus 3 divided by 4. So now I have a minus 3. 24 minus 3 is just 21. a plus 21 divided by 4. Uh, and now from here, there's different steps you can take to actually solve this equation. Uh, but for me, I don't really like working with fractions, so I'm going to get rid of here. I'm dividing by 4. So to get rid of this divide by 4, I can move it to this side. I'll now be multiplying by 4. So instead of dividing by 4, I'm now going to multiply by 4. So over here I have a minus 3. This is times 4 because I moved that divide by 4 over. And over here I'm just left with a plus 21. 
Now, since I'm multiplying by 4, I've got all of this needs to be multiplied by 4. So I have to distribute the 4 amongst what it's being multiplied by. So 4 times minus 3, 4 times a. So 4 times a gives me 4a. 4 times minus 3 gives me minus 12 equals a plus 21. Uh, now I'm going to get my a's together, so I'll subtract a from both sides. I end up with 3a minus 12 equals 21. Now we'll add 12. I'm going to start solving for a, so we add 12 to both sides. I end up with 3a, 21 plus 12, that would be uh, 33. And finally, divide by 3 to get a totally by itself, a equals 11. So that means Albert is 11 years old. And we're told Bertil is 24 years older than Albert. So that means Bertil is 35 years old. And now we'll just check this. So first, let's check. Three years ago, was Albert one-fourth the age of Bertil? So three years ago, three years ago, So three years ago, A was nine, or no, A was eight three years ago. Three years ago, uh, Bertil would have been 32. So yes, eight times four equals 32. Yes, Albert is one fourth the age of Bertil. And today, Bertil is 24 years older than Albert. And if we check that, uh, Albert is 11 plus 24 equals 35. So we've met all the requirements. Three years ago, Albert was one fourth the age of Bertil, and today Bertil is, uh, uh, what is it, 24 years older than Albert. So you have solved the question. We'll circle it and star it so we know this is our answer. Albert is 11 years old, Bertil is 35 years old.